Well, hey guys, welcome back to Rapture Alerts. My name is Sean. If you're just tuning in, this is just a guy talking about Jesus. That's all I do over here. Guys, I hope you're doing okay today. I appreciate you taking the time to come over here. We are going to give all glory to God in everything that we do. Isn't that right? We're going to wait patiently for him and be humble and be thankful for everything that he's given to us, especially eternal life. So we'll look at the scripture for that today and maybe a little bit of commentary. I want you to know that I'm continuing to pray for you and your families and your children and that the rapture is the next thing to happen on the prophetic timeline. I'm going to be doing this until Jesus takes us home. So join me now in prayer and let's lift him up and give all the glory to him in everything we do. Father, I come to you now and I give you thanks again for trading your life for ours on the cross at Calvary. I believe that you died for all of our sins and they placed you in a tomb and you rose three days later. I confess it with my mouth today that you are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you so much for saving me, Father. I ask that you bless this message with no interference and let your presence be known today. Please speak to the viewers. Please bang on the door of their heart and open their minds to this message and let your will be done. Father, we thank you for every single thing that you do for us. We can't wait to be with you forever and eternity. We will continue to occupy until you come and work for the kingdom. I ask that these be your words today and not mine, and that you continue to use me as an instrument of your will. Thank you so much for everything, Jesus. I love and miss you. Amen. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have a great time hanging out worshiping the Lord today. 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all things for the glory of God. Amen. This is a very important verse because you don't have to be sitting here running a channel for Jesus during the end times, waiting for the rapture and trying to lead other people to him. You don't just have to do that in order to glorify God. You can glorify God in anything. Look at what it says again, whether you eat or drink, comma, or whatever you do. So that encompasses all things that we do. You could hold a door open for somebody. You could witness to somebody. You could give them a track. You could give them a Bible. You could pray for them. You could be driving in your car on the interstate with the radio off and just giving glory to God with your mouth. You could make a joyful noise unto him. It could be anything going on in your life and there's an opportunity to give glory to Jesus. So I hope that you do that today. I love this verse because the times that we're living in right now are perilous. There are many terrible things that are going on in the world, right? Well, that doesn't mean that we ever stop giving glory to the Lord. We should do it just like 1 Corinthians says and do it in whatever we do. All right, guys, let's take a look at the commentary for the verse we just read and go a little bit further. It says, Paul has provided some specific guidelines in the previous verses about when Christians should eat and refrain from eating food that has been offered to idols. Those answers gave broad freedom to those who are spiritually strong and recognize that God gives a good purpose for everything he has created. Scripture has also provided careful warnings that moderate how that freedom can be used. Here, Paul boils everything down to a single principle that should drive all our choices. Believers should be motivated to bring glory to God in everything we do or choose not to do. This includes our choices to eat or drink or to refuse. Paul adds this to a list of motivating factors for the use of our freedom in Christ. Will this activity be helpful to me or will it cause me to be mastered? Will doing this build up others and be good for my neighbor as well for myself? And now, will this choice to eat or drink or do anything else bring glory to God? In all cases, the question of whether this activity will bring me pleasure, material gain, or status should not be the deciding factor alone, even for those who are free in Christ. Just as anything done without conviction is sin, Christians should not participate in anything they don't feel brings glory to God. Guys, I got to tell you, I'm very thankful today again that Jesus died for me and my sins. I choose to accept him. I choose to fear him and his name, and I will continue to glorify him in all things that I do. I could be eating or drinking. I'm going to glorify God. I could be tying my shoes. I could be doing dishes. I could be doing anything that you can name. 
And I'm going to choose to give all the glory to him because he did not have to die for my sins. He chose to. And it was because of love. I hope that you have that love in your heart today and that you are going by John 14, 6 and that you fear Jesus just like I do because he is on the way and he is going to rapture us out of here momentarily. Guys, I love you. I miss you. I'm praying for you. If the rapture isn't right now, a few moments from now, or even tonight, just do what we always say over here. You keep looking up and we'll see you up top.